Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Owl YouTube channel and in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you how I made this slimline card using the latest flavor of the month card kit from Scrapping for Less. I hope you'll stick around and see how I made it. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and maybe even tap on that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. This month, I'm so excited to be the guest designer for the Scrapping for Less Flavor of the Month card kit. July 2020's theme is In the Tropics, and if you've been watching my videos so far this month, I think you know where that theme came from. If you haven't already seen my unboxing where I showed you everything that comes in the kit, I will link that video in the description box below so you can go check it out. I will also link all of the cards that I have made so far in my Scrapping for Less playlist. Today, I'm going to be using collection number three, Watery Tropics, and I will be using the sketch that they provide for this month to make a slimline card. Once I get started on the process, I will go to a voiceover. If I leave you with any questions, make sure to leave those in the comment section below. Let's get crafty! To get started on today's card, I got out one of my stitched circle dies and I cut three of those out of just standard white cardstock. Then I pulled out my Misty and my Knight of Navy Stampin' Spot from Stampin' Up because I want to stamp specific parts of the seascape image onto each of those circles. So having the Misty will allow me to choose a section and stamp that exactly where I want it. You did see there that I used some washi tape to place my circle down onto my grid mat and then I inked up a portion of the stamp that would be on that circle. It was a good thing that I had my Misty out for this because the first time I stamped it, I did miss a couple spots. So all I had to do was just re-ink that and stamp it again. For the next circle, I will be stamping what is in the bottom right of the image. And I just ink it up and stamp it. And then I will place my third circle for the final stamping. This one I placed behind the sun at the top center of the image. Once the stamping was done, I chose three of the pattern papers from the kit and I cut those into strips that were three inches wide and I left the height at the six inches. Off camera, I had already cut a piece of three and a half by eight and a half inch cardstock that will be the base for these strips of paper. Now because I didn't know exactly how they would be placed angled on this piece, I lightly tacked them down and played with the layout a little bit until they were at good angles where they covered all of the white cardstock in the back. Once I had the layout finalized, I then pulled up each one carefully and added extra adhesive to the white cardstock. Once this was done, I got out some scissors, I turned my piece around, and I cut off the excess pattern paper that was hanging off the edges. For the sentiment on this card, I'm going to be using the Thinking of You stamp from the stamp set, and I will be inking that up with Versamark and heat embossing it with my Detail White embossing powder. Now you did see there that I used my embossing buddy on that blue piece of cardstock and that is so when I pour my powder, the powder will only stick to where I want it to. A very handy tool to have. Once my stamp was all inked up, I stamped that, poured on the powder, and then heat set that with my heat tool. Once the sentiment was heat set, I got out a fishtailed banner die, placed that onto the blue cardstock with a piece of removable scotch tape, and ran that through my die cutter. 
Now it was time to start putting my card together. The first thing I did was add adhesive to the back of my pattern paper strip, and then I started to place my circles onto my card. I did bring in my T-square ruler just to help with centering this first circle. And then once I had that in a good place, I added both of the other circles, just placing them centered to the left and centered to the right of that first one. I brought in some mini Stampin' Dimensionals for my sentiment strip, added a few to the back of that, and then I placed this aligned to the right side of the card. Once the sentiment was in place, I brought in the little baggie of sequins from this month's banana split and I added six to the card front. I added three to the sentiment banner and then three in other places on the card front. The ones I chose to add, they were kind of like a frosted look. They weren't white, they weren't clear, just kind of like actually a vellum sequin. I really like how they look on the card front. This was when I originally was going to have the card finished, but after I placed those, I realized that the card needed something else. So I carefully peeled off the sentiment and I pulled out my Art Impressions stitched circle dies. I have yet to actually snip these dies apart because I love how they just make those perfect circle frames. I cut three of these from the same blue cardstock I use from the sentiment, and then I chose the right size one that would go around each of these circles. Once I pulled out all of the correct sizes, I got out my art glitter glue, added some adhesive to the back of each frame, and placed those on the card front. I did put some clear stamp blocks on these while they dried, and then once they were dry, it was time to refinish this card. Off camera, I placed a new strip of foam on the back of my sentiment strip, and I placed that once again aligned to the right side of the card. And here are some close-up looks at the finished card. I hope you enjoyed getting to see how I made my slimline card today using the Scrapping for Less Flavor of the Month card kit and their sketch for July 2020. If you did, as always, I appreciate a thumbs up. Until my next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you're interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box.